Hi there, everyone. This is Marcus Leto, creative director for Halo Reach at Bungie. Over the next few minutes, with the help of some moving imagery, I'm going to talk to you about the game we're making, where it's headed, and a few of the new surprises in store for fans this fall. Reach is Bungie's most ambitious game yet, and we intend to deliver the definitive installment in the Halo series. Reach is a standalone prequel to the Halo trilogy that puts players on the ground as a member of Noble Team during the Covenant invasion and eventual glassing of the planet. From the beginning, you know the end, and throughout the game players will experience a story that is darker in tone than prior games, punctuated by moments of heroism and sacrifice. With Reach, we have the benefit of drawing upon a decade's worth of work creating and refining the gameplay and universe that fans have come to know and love. It's our intention to carry forward and build upon the best elements from all of our prior games and deliver what will be the best Halo experience in our series. The entire Halo game engine has been significantly overhauled resulting in vast immersive environments and planetary scale battles with up to twice as many enemies on screen as you've ever fought in a Halo game. Our characters and models are all significantly improved with higher resolution textures, increased poly counts, and radically improved animation systems making all of our in-game objects look more real and believable than ever before. All the returning staples like the Warthog or Assault Rifle have been rebuilt from the ground up. In addition to new weapons and vehicles, Noble Team will rely on armor abilities instead of equipment, can employ new assassination flourishes on enemies, and will fight against a new, more terrifying Covenant army, led by the cunning and agile elites. Reach introduces a brand new cast of characters, the Spartans of Noble Team. Comprised primarily of Spartan 3s, the cheaper, more mass-market and expendable successors of the Spartan 2s. Noble Team doesn't have the technical advancements of the Master Chief, but they make up for it with teamwork and tenacity. Over the course of duty, Spartan 3s are known to scavenge the battlefield and augment and modify their armor. Carter, Spartan 259, is the leader of Noble Team, a no-nonsense soldier who's seen more than his share of fighting and above all else is determined to get his team out intact. Cat, Spartan 320, is the second in command and the only other original member of Noble Team. She's immediately recognizable due to her prosthetic arm, a lasting reminder of battles long fought. George, Spartan 052, is the only Spartan 2 in Noble Team and is a big bruiser specializing in heavy weaponry. June, Spartan 266, is the sniper of the group and specializes in long-range encounters and his accuracy and nerves are unmatched. Emil, Spartan 239, is immediately recognized by the skull he has carved in the front of his visor. He's not big on words and instead likes to rely on his knife to get his point across. And lastly, there's Noble Six, which is the role you, the player, will fulfill in the team. We don't know much about Six, other than being a recent addition to the team and having a reputation as being somewhat of a lone wolf. The final primary character in the game is actually Reach itself. The story focuses on the destruction of the planet and our team has gone to painstaking lengths to make Reach a real, living, breathing world with its own history. We know Reach will ultimately fall and we want our players to be invested in the planet and its people and impacted by the outcome. Reach will carry forward with many of the staples and favorite weapons that have come to define the series, all with graphical and in some cases functional improvements. Weapons projectiles will emit their own dynamic lights, plasma bolts will burn and sear into their targets and explosions will kick up with thick debris and rain down particles. Of course, we're also adding brand new additions to the UNSC and Covenant arsenals, and so far there are a few we're able to reveal. The designated marksman rifle, or DMR, is a new single-shot medium to long-range weapon that rewards accuracy and headshot aiming with lethal results. Within the Bungie team playtests, the DMR has already become the defining human weapon in the game. The Covenant will get a similar weapon, the needle rifle. Essentially a mix between a carbine and a needler, this blamite-powered weapon is suited for medium to long-range encounters and does bonus damage for headshots. Like the Needler, 
It will trigger super combined explosions when enough needles have hit a target. Our design team is working hard to refine the overall sandbox for Reach. And while not every single weapon from prior games will be returning, the ones that are in the game will each serve a purposeful role in combat. Equipment is perhaps the biggest alteration to the Reach sandbox. The old single-use equipment from Halo 3 has been replaced by a new system called Armor Abilities. These abilities, once equipped, stay with the player and can be reused until they are replaced. So far, we've revealed two examples, Active Camo and Sprint. When you activate Sprint, your character will move at significantly increased speed for a few seconds until your ability's energy is depleted. After a short cooldown, you're able to sprint again. Armor abilities will have a big strategic and gameplay impact to the campaign as well as multiplayer, and we'll be revealing more in the months ahead. So we haven't talked much about multiplayer. Multiplayer is going to be filled with everything you've come to expect from a Halo game, and a few more new things that we're adding to the game that I can't yet talk about. You'll get a new sneak peek at it this spring, with a multiplayer beta available on the ODST disc. This is the culmination of over a decade of hard work and experience put in by one of the most talented teams in the industry. And I'm proud to say that Halo Reach is going to be the most powerful Bungie title to date. Well, thanks for watching. We can't wait for you all to play this game coming up soon. You get a sneak peek at it with the beta in the spring and the full game this fall. If you'd like more information on Halo Reach, stay tuned to Bungie.net and I'll see you on the battlefield.